Hey everybody, I'm David. I'm Brenda. We're from OutsideOurBubble.com or should we make that InsideOurBubble.com because please, we don't want people to get outside their bubble currently in this pandemic. Oh my gosh, please. Yes. So we are changing our name from outside our bubble to inside our bubble because we want everybody to please stay inside their bubble. Oh my gosh, especially right now. This is recorded on um, December 24th, Christmas Eve, and um, the pandemic is, and we're in Houston, Texas currently, and this is going, uh, uh, it's a little crazy out here right now in Houston with the pandemic and all, but we come to you with another uh, thing, and this is our take on the Tiffin buyout from Thor. Yes. So basically, okay, after a hundred plus emails, I have to make a video because I keep getting emails on, oh my God, David, what's going on? Um, Tiffin was sold to Thor. Now that's always been a big rumor for years. That Tiffin was going to be sold. Yeah. And it's, you know, as you know, a family run business and uh, we're like, no, no, that'll never happen. But never Things say have, never. Never say never. <laughs> yeah, we, um, uh, unfortunately, uh, I say unfortunately, but Tiffin was sold to Thor Industries. Now understand, I didn't say Thor Motorhome. I said Thor Industries. Uh, there's, just, there's a difference because a lot of people think of Thor and they think Thor Motorhomes and they think because Thor does make a product called the Thor Motor Coach, a Class A Motor Coach and what have you. And some people love it. Some people think it's got low quality, but also Thor owns a lot of other companies, including Airstream, Integra, and a lot of others, just to name two other RV manufacturers, for yeah. example. So Airstream, for example, a very big following in the Airstream area, Thor owns them, but you might not know that. Um, and so, from what we understand, Thor likes to keep all of their businesses separate. Correct. So they don't mind competition among their, their own companies that they own under their umbrella, yeah. which to me is a good thing. So um, Tiffin, yes, was bought by Thor. Is this a bad thing? Yes or no? Depends on how you look at it. Um, you know, they were one of the, I think they were the last family owned well, RV manufacturer. Well, you have Dave um, uh, from um, oh, uh, from um, Nexus. Oh, Nexus RV. Dave, Dave and his, Dave and they're his partners. Claude. I think they, yeah, Claude. I think they're, I think they're still family owned. I don't think they're, they've been bought out, but they might be the only ones left. There's, there's very few. Yes. Yes. And Tiffin was one of the last holdouts um, of a family owned business. And now, they've been around a family-run business for almost 50 years. Now, why you're probably asking yourself, Dave, why are you coming to us now with this? Because this is old news. Yeah, it's a few days old, that's for sure. But I wanted to make sure I talked to the people beforehand. So that, just so you know, the day, the day, Monday, when it was announced that Tiffin was sold to Thor, I got a call from Mr. Tiffin. And we talked for quite a while on this. And... Um, I have to say that at Bob will be staying as part of Tiffin. And if anything, Tiffin is Bob and Bob is Tiffin. I mean, Bob Tiffin, it's his name. Yeah. <laughs> right? But yes, but Bob is so ingrained into the Tiffin brand. And the Tiffin hierarchy. That uh, uh, he, he's not going anywhere. Yeah, he, yeah. He, and he shouldn't. He really shouldn't because Tiffin was founded on one thing and one thing only, building a quality motor coach with service to back it. Yes. So the majority of the emails that I received, and I did receive 100 plus emails, and that's why we needed to obviously do a video. We did a video on Newmar when that was sold because that was a family owned business. Mm -hmm. So of course we're gonna say something about Tiffin, but I took my time because I wanted to talk to the people involved first. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to talk to Bob Merton, um, who operates- Who's the CEO of uh, Thor. Thor. Yeah, I was expecting a call from him, but it never happened. Obviously, we're right here at the holiday season, so I'm not surprised by that. But Bob Tiffin, Bob Tiffin, not Bob Martin, Martin. <laughs> was Bob Tiffin was going to let him know that I need, would like to speak with him and, and basically said he probably would want to speak with me. Um, because I'm getting the emails, and the emails that I get are these. Uh, the majority of the emails is either I have an order in, should I cancel it? Um, or I was thinking about buying a Tiffin, should I still be thinking about Tiffin? That's the two main premises I get. Yeah. The answer is Tiffin is not currently changing as we know it. 
okay? No, I'm, and not for a while. Yeah, the main... If at all. Yeah, because Thor Industries does have a record of letting the companies that they buy basically... It's going to be sound weird, but battle it out among themselves. I mean, you would think it'd be weird to have companies, the, the same company, having other companies of like products like Tiffin and Integra and by battling it out, you know, but they would like competition amongst their brands that they own. Yeah. So Thor, even though they own a Thor Motor Coach company, understand this is not Thor Motor Coach. This is still Tiffin and it's being run currently still by Tiffin family members. Yeah, and Thor Industries seems to be more family oriented versus um, corporate and well, CEO oriented. And they do to an extent. They are corporate yeah. because they own a number of brands, a lot of brands. Yes, they do. And including in the sale of Tiffin was not only just Tiffin Motor Coach. They actually bought everything from the window manufacturing plant that Tiffin has, the fiberglass plant, everything that Tiffin basically owns. It was it was it was sold out and um, it all went to Thor. And this is all a positive thing for Thor because they can leverage all of this that Tiffin owned to their own advantage to help their other products possibly down the road. So, well, and it's not bad news for Tiffin in the sense that, um, you know, they did have all of these other um, manufacturers of windows and the fiberglass and stuff. So this just gives them more backing to continue what they do. It does. It gives them a bigger, a bigger financial backing, if you will, to continue down the road and to continue the long leg legacy that Bob Tiffin has set into place. And that seems to be Thor's stand on, on all the companies that they do is they want the companies that they buy to just keep doing what they do well. They look to buy companies that are sufficient among th among themselves. Yes. So that's that's a positive thing at least. So any case, while we're very sad to see a family-owned company be sold to a large corporation, am I still disappointed? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Would I still buy a Tiffin Motor Coach? Because I get that question also in the email. Yeah. Dave, will you buy your next coach via Tiffin? Our answer is probably. Yeah. Um, and I don't say that to slight anything like Numar because they're owned by Winnebago and they were bought by Winnebago. I don't mean that in any sense of the fashion. I mean that in a way that I do believe that Thor will keep the core integrity of, Tiffin, of Tiffin intact. Yes. And, Especially with Bob still still at the helm. Yeah, Bob is still going to be doing what Bob does, and that's great news. But when Bob finally retires, or oh gosh, don't even want to think. Bob's got Bob's up there in age. Um, well, and he he told me that too directly, didn't he? Bob, Bob actually likes to say, "I'm not going to live forever." Yes. So <laughs> on our phone call, he actually said that. Yes. As none of us will. So you know, he's just looking out for the future of his employees and his family. He is. And you can't fault him for that. I cannot. And so while uh, I took uh, you know a hard stance on the family-owned business being sold of Numar, I take a hard stance also on Tiffin being sold only because I hate seeing family-owned businesses have to resort to being sold out. But in this particular economy, in this particular case with the family and everything, um, I believe it was a smart move on Tiffin's end. And I hope that Thor lives up to the Tiffin reputation. That's all I can put out there is I really hope and pray, not that I'm a religious person, but but, but I really hope that, that Thor uh, understands the Tiffin philosophy of customer first because customers sell other customers. Mm -hmm. Let's face it, Tiffin is Tiffin the way they are today based on other Tiffin owners and how Bob has treated them. It is, and, it, and it's, it's, it's the serviceability and the care of the customer which makes the most importance to RV owners. Well, and let's face it, Bob built this company for almost 50 years. Older than Brenda, oh wait, don't <laughs> hit me, don't hit me. So he's built this company up for over 50 years. He doesn't want to just hand it over to somebody that's going to scrap it, move it to Indiana, you know, get rid of all their employees. He has a vested interest in his employees and, and obviously his family, but his employees and what he built up. He, we have to give credit to him for seeking out the right buyer. We do. 
And quite literally, as Bob said in one of his interviews that was on YouTube, you can find it between Bob and Bob. Bob and Bob. <laughs> Bob and Bob. Uh, <laughs> You, you, Bob actually says they've been looking for a long time. I personally believe it's been since the first time Bob looked to retire and then came back. Um, we could be wrong, we though. We could be wrong, though, but I believe they've been looking for a, the right buyer since that point and, and, and probably have turned away a number of offers. Um, but as far as Thor Industry goes, remember, it's not Thor Motorhome that bought it. Thor Motorhome is a totally separate company. Uh, Just that, like Airstream and Integra. So they're under a who different. Who they also own. They're under a different umbrella, and so we're hoping good things to come down the road with the unification of under under a larger umbrella of a larger, more profitable. Not profitable. I, Maybe they are profitable, more profitable than Tiffin. Not sure at this point. Well, but let's, anyways, let's just hope this will get Tiffin to the next level and the next step um, with with more finances and things behind them, where they can go into the future for different things. Right. So I am not worried about it. Do not cancel your orders for Tiffin. Yeah. <laughs> Do not, if you're considering a Tiffin, don't discount them at this point. Um, yeah. There's no reason to do that. And um, yeah, but but for all the people that have emailed me, one third of my emails were, should I cancel my order? And while I am humbled that you guys value our opinion on the RV industry, it's all a personal choice. It all comes down to your personal choice. Yeah. If we were to buy another motor coach today, we would surely still be looking at Tiffin. Yeah. So there, there it is in a nutshell, if you will. So if anything, we would still be looking at Tiffin together if we were to buy another motor coach. Unfortunately, hey Thor, listen up. <laughs> Unfortunately, Tiffin only has one 45 foot floor plan and it's the OP or the OPP. Um, and it's not a floor plan that, that really is, that, that is to our liking. Well, as we've always advocated, Said, floor plan, floor plan is key. Floor plan, floor plan. Yeah. Yep. And so while they only have one and the Zephyr, um, it's not one that we, we, we have, we, we have, and people have said, Dave, you said you were going to get a new motor coach. Why haven't you done so? Don't you like Tiffin? No, we do, but they only have one floor plan for the 45. And, and we did present them with a floor plan that's based on the 45 LP floor plan that would bring it into the future, um, but they haven't yet manufactured it. If they do, we would surely be buying it. Yeah. So right now- but we still love our 45 LP. Our we'll 2000, stick with it. Yeah, it's a 2014 45 LP, still looks brand new, still is doing great by us. We have not had any issues. Knock on Tiffin wood. Um, <laughs> There's a lot of wood a lot to of knock wood. on. <laughs> so in any case, um, that's, that's our take on what has happened in the industry as of late and why we have not come out on the first day of the announcement because I did want to talk to people first. Yeah. I wanted to talk to Bob and I wanted to talk to Bob, but I got to talk to Bob, but I didn't get to talk to the other Bob. Does that make sense? <laughs> Any case, I'm hoping still to get a Paul call from Bob Martin. Probably after the holidays. Probably after. Because Bob Tiffin did say that he talked to him personally uh, to let him know who we are and um, how we have been helpful to him and the Tiffin company in the, in the past. So in any case, don't, don't panic. Don't panic. Um, it's all good. And uh, well, we're going to let you go at this point because I've talked too much and I've rambled too much. <laughs> any case, uh, if you know what's going on, we're in Houston, Texas. And uh, just look at other blog posts to find out what's going on with me and why we're in Houston. And you'll understand why I'm a little scrambled. <laughs> but any case, I'm David. I'm Brenda. We're from outside our bubble. Now, not outside our bubble. Stay at no, home, wear stay a mask. inside your bubble. Please stay inside your bubble. Please stay inside your bubble right now, at least until we have the majority of the company, or country, not company, company is Tiffin, co country uh, vaccinated, and hopefully the vaccine will work as it's intended to. Um, we, we wish you all hope and, and, and to the future and a, to a better 2021. Yes, please. And, um, Better 2021. Please, 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 please. And please stay inside your bubble. Much against our logo of outside your bubble. Please stay inside your bubble. I'm David. I'm Brenda. We're from Inside, inside Outside Your of, Bubble. Inside Outside. <laughs> inside Outside Our Bubble dot com. And we'll see you on the road or some other place. Take care. Keep safe. But we'll only wave from a six foot distance. Yeah. At this point. With at least. masks on. Yeah. So much for Uberfest, huh? Ha! <laughs>
Bye. Bye, guys. This video was in no way paid for by Thor Industries. Thanks.